climate march. This is about a lot of things, but one of the things that climate change will affect is access to clean water and air. These are the fundamental rights for human beings. I'm retired from NASA. NASA, we have 50 years of satellite imaging showing the polar ice caps diminishing. How do you account for that? You gotta do something. Climate change is a problem for the poorest people of the earth. They are the ones who suffer the most, and that's why it's important to fight against climate change. I lost my job when the housing market crashed. I lost my home. Last year, we retrofitted over 100 energy efficient homes. The transition is happening. Workers and communities are being left behind. So why wouldn't we be investing in clean energy and creating jobs and economic development? We have been fracked to death in Oklahoma, and we've had damage to our uh, home. We got the city council to finally pass an ordinance which was banning fracking in our city, of, and then the state made their big move and banned our ban. But we've come a long ways, and we're trying to make things better. The truth of the matter is that fracking has destroyed my life. In 2014, a company called Hillcore Energy actually caused 77 earthquakes. I nearly went out of business, so much for my freaking job. They've stolen from me the right to raise my grandchildren on the land that my kids were raised on, that my husband was raised on, and that three generations before them were raised on. And we just heard there are 150,000 plus people here. That is awesome. It's great to see so many people standing up and moving forward when government and other organizations aren't right now. It was really amazing. There are a lot of great ways you can get involved. Reducing food waste. Recruit as many people as you can to your cause. Make it personal. See how it affects you personally and keep talking about that over and over how it affects you.